Hello and welcome. Billy Joel and I have two things in common. We both have a German father and we both were called piano man during our time as bar pianists at the beginning of our career. Well, for me it stayed like that, but <clears throat> okay, let's learn it. Enjoy. Hello friends of Billy Joel, hello friends of my person, hello friends of um, the help section. Now this is really a song, uh, that's uh, why I tell it just up front, uh, that you can, where would just stand in your way of learning it from the slow replay that comes after this. It's really the best to learn it from there with one or two exceptions where I'm going to help you. But it's really short this time, not because I'm lazy, but because it doesn't make sense to stop, stop, stop. You can, uh, it's really quite uh, transparent, this piece. One thing, if you want to play it, first of all, you don't have to play it at Billy Joel's um, like uh, waltz speed, like... That is quite tricky, huh? The hook line. You, anyway, you can play it, you can also slow it down. It's a beautiful piece that can uh, do with also a, a slower speed, like... Uh, see? It doesn't lose much. So, do it as at your taste. Anyway, the hook line, the beginning, the intro and what comes also back in the middle is tricky. That's the only really tricky bit. And for those who are not so skilled to play it that fast, like... That's the original. We simplify the arpeggio. We simplify the arpeggio, we go like... You see, they are just the chords dissolved, that's all. And that you can also then play at a faster speed. Of 
because now not much is coming. Uh, like uh, uh, rhythm wise, it's nothing, there's nothing tricky. It's like a one, two, three, one, two. Beware, it's a three fourth piece. Beware that, dear students, you might see that very few times in, uh, in your tutorials because most of the time we have four fourth. So, and then it's just like a, you have the C, you have always that, you have the, the G with the B in the bass, then you have A minor, A minor with the G in the bass. It's good to know these chords. Then we have F, it's a, such a common and uh, often used, that is again C with the E in the bass. Then we have the D and G. That's it for the main part. Yeah? So, and this descending bass line has been used in uh, small variations so many times, like... I could play endless examples. So here we have one of those, it's C, and then you just put the very simple melody on top. little fur many might like it's a bit easier to play than my usual here we have it dissolved and again you see uh, same bass line and G C and now um, we have one little um, bridge, we have a middle part, that is this one. What you do in the right hand here is you've just played parallel six. Always look for simplifications for your minds instead of just uh, telling yourself, oh, it's C and A, oh, it's uh, D and B, O, it's E and C, you gotta remember six notes, right? Or you can just say, it's the sixth starting from here, six running parallel. It's the sixth running parallel. Instead of six pieces of information, you have two pieces of information. And I always encourage you to discern, to recognize these, um, uh, uh, how you call it, the, the, these patterns that makes it easier for you to play by heart. Okay, now we have this left hand. I want you to tie this bit, but you can see the stretch is quite long. I have to let go here. And you can help yourself by using the pedal on each of the roots. Pedal, 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 pedal. Pedal, and then we go to, to D. And this but I also show you briefly, it's like, it's a G. This is the hidden A minor, A minor 7, yes, minor 3rd, 7, 7 octaved here. Octaved, is that an English word? I just made it one. So. And we are in G again, with the B in the bass, leading straight to C. And then I have this arpeggio that might get a bit tight to the next melody. So we have two moments where we're getting quite um, tight to the next chorus in the melody. This is the one bit, like... Um, And then it goes on, yeah? So if this is too tricky with the under setting, you just play. You have time. Beautiful, beautiful. It, it's really not necessary, this. I was just a bit too uh, ambitious. Done, done, done. It's perfectly fine to have this, um, a little breath, a little breathing in there. The other thing is, you can play when you have this hook line coming up again, like. Now, the third one, this one. 
And yes. this one comes, um, two, I think, two times very close to the next melody, like... See, I even couldn't hit it clearly. So what you do is... And you leave out the last one. It's really no problem. Uh, he probably does it himself. And uh, where were we? Right, so this. Uh, and then you can... And then you can leave the last one out. You can leave that one out. Okay. Bam, 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 bam. That uh, will help you. I promise that will help you. Um, if you want to go for the real atmosphere in his uh, of his performance, it's like he's sitting in a beer bar. In, a, uh, in Germany, we call it a Kneipe, um, uh, a pub. I don't know if the Americans, what the terms the Americans have for that. Um, like, uh, I don't know. So then, of course, I, you know, I played it also with the sound of a piano of a, a real piano, then you really go for this party atmosphere and in the last chorus you go for it. Uh, you have no more here, you just have this bam bam. Because he's singing really full out, you know, there's no more subtlety, it's just party time and you, you, you go for the bass like... Oh. You hit it. That's for you. That's the bit for you, okay? Well, this song offers a little bit of dynamics. It has this uh, one thing um, that, you know, where he's going down, uh, and it's getting a bit more mellow for, for one chorus, where it's just like... he's getting a bit more introverted and the song is getting a little bit more introverted and so you can stretch just a tiny bit don't lose the tempo but you can play them like you know you see I'm only waiting now to get it thrust again and off we go then he goes you see but use that dynamics that this song is offering for you at this point okay then you have a bit of musicality in there and then of course you get your beautiful wife or your beautiful husband to sing along print out the lyrics and you have an, another great Christmas song uh, if you like and uh, have a nice Sunday have a wonderful weekend have a wonderful next week and I uh, see you next time bye bye Take care from Berlin. Oopsie.
hope you like my video and that you learned something. Now you can subscribe. Just press this subscribe button or click on another of my videos on this side. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.